Lane closure was necessary because the asphalt was coming up when drivers passed over a part of the road that was worked on Tuesday night. Louisiana State Police is asking that you avoid the area. I'm coming home. Those are the words from Feeding America CEO Claire Babino Fontenot. The Opolis is native and UL Lafayette alum is being honored tonight with the Outstanding Alumni Award. Feeding America provides meals to millions of families each year and according to Forbes, the number one nonprofit in the U.S. Fontenot says as one of 108 children through biology, adoption and foster care, she learned firsthand about hunger in America and is proud that she's now able to help others. The organization saw the greatest need during the COVID pandemic. Over 60 million people turn to Feeding America uh, in need of resources. And that during 2020, that we provided over 5.7 billion meals to people. Uh, that's a really big deal. That's billion with a B. So it, not only does it, it show that there has been, there was incredible need, but it also showed that there was incredible service now, if you would like to help, you can volunteer or donate to Second Harvest Food Bank here in Lafayette or donate at feedingamerica.org. Good evening, I'm Anna Fisher and here in downtown Lafayette where a 12 foot puppet will be walking through the downtown area spreading hope to the people. Known as Little Amal, this giant puppet depicts a, t a 10 year old Syrian refugee girl. Little Amal travels all around the world working to unite diverse communities and start conversations about immigration, needs of refugees and more. The Cultural Association of Latino Acadiana has worked together with Festival International to spread the word about Little Amal's appearance tonight. The president of ACLA says they're honored to be just a small piece in the machine that makes tonight possible. Lafayette, Louisiana tends to be a multicultural hub that has been built upon um, many people that have traveled from their native, native countries and turned Lafayette, Louisiana uh, as a home. So again, I think it's, it's important to highlight the fact that as a cultural hub, uh, we are extremely excited to welcome something as symbolic as it is. Now again, in, right in front of the ACA where I am right now, they are unveiling little Amal right behind me in that warehouse. She will be making her way through downtown towards Park International, and that will end around 7 p.m. tonight. In Lafayette, Anna Fisher, KTC TV3. Meanwhile, the Lafayette Animal Shelter is working with Spay Nation to offer free rabies vaccines for dogs only. The vaccine event is happening on Sunday at the Cajun Dome from 8 to noon. Discounted microchipping will also be available for $20. They will also be handing out a limited amount of $20 spay and neuter vouchers. If you plan on bringing your dog, enter through gate 8. That's off of Congress Street. Well, get your fishing rods ready. The Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries is restocking three pond locations through its Get Out and Fish Community Fishing Program. 100 pounds of adult-sized catfish are in Girard Park, and 400 pounds are at Southside Regional Park. LDWF is also stocking the lake at Little Beaver Park on Friday with 4,000 breams. Here's Rob's 24-hour forecast. Oh, temperatures this morning, nice and comfortable in the mid to upper 40s. 48 was the low in Lafayette. Got into the mid to upper 70s this afternoon. It looks like 78 was probably our high. Currently 76 Lafayette, also Youngsville, 77 in uh, Opelousas. It's just a very pleasant day once again. Those dew points, though, coming up a bit as a return of southerly winds across the area. So tonight's going to be milder by some 10 degrees uh, for most spots. Generally fair skies across the area. We do see a few clouds out in the Gulf of Mexico. They're trying to work their way inland across southwest Louisiana. And as we take a look at the HER model here, we'll see temperatures upper 50s to near 64 tonight, so about 10 degrees milder. Maybe an isolated shower or two in the area with an upper level trough that will be passing on through, but we can't go with rain chances much higher than about 10 to 15% for our Thursday. Thereafter, front on the way as we head into 
to Friday, but this one's really not a cool front. It's going to be more of a, almost a warm front, especially with respect to daytime highs. We'll talk more about that in the main weathercast. So tonight, Lafayette bottoming out near 60, maybe upper 50s. And then tomorrow, another fair to partly cloudy day. Slight rain chances and the best rain chance will be mainly during the morning hours at about 10%. Your high tomorrow, a little bit warmer, lower 80s. Even warmer as we head into Friday and the weekend, we could see a 90 degree reading. We'll talk more about that and have the complete TrueView forecast plus developments out in the tropics coming up in just a little bit.